When did they decide to get married today? Yesterday. Yesterday. I think the music business is kind of like the film business, you know, you wait around forever for something to happen, <laughs> and when it finally does, everybody wants everything done yesterday. Well, I think it's very romantic. Oh, well, I think it's crazy. All that work that Felicia and I did for nothing. Well, it's not really for nothing, and mm. I guess it is kind of romantic, isn't it? And what does it matter? We'll all go crazy. We'll just rush around like maniacs today. We'll eat, we'll drink, we'll be happy, we'll cry, we'll laugh, yeah. we'll be sad, we'll go to well, bed tonight, and we'll... I get the feeling that... I wonder how we ever made it through the day. Your wedding was probably something really perfectly organized to the last detail, wasn't it? Oh, well, uh, our wedding was... Uh, we don't have time to talk about my wedding right now. We'll talk about it later. Ah. Well, I want our wedding to be absolutely, absolutely perfect. So do I. Well, it will be. I mean, all this practice we've gotten on Felicia's, how can it help? There, you take that. We've got to take work. this baby's breath. We need okay. another tree. Over by that door, I think, would be good. Okay. And uh, see if you can find some more of those white little uh, tulip things, okay? So as far as we know, those agents could still be here in Port Charles. Yeah, but that's awfully strange, isn't it? A little sloppy, too. I mean, if they really did stay someplace else overnight, why would they leave their baggage at the hotel? I guess they didn't figure anybody check into it. That's exactly what I mean by sloppy. I mean, the first thing they ever taught us at the agency was always cover your tracks, never leave a trace. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Worst thing is, uh, I don't know what it is I don't like. <laughs> well put. <laughs> This struck you as a coincidence that uh, Frisco moves up his wedding, decides to leave town at about the same time that the agents were here? Well, it could be just a coincidence. Let me check it out. Does Tiffany know the guy who hired him? Yeah, she knows him all right. Been around for years. Does that mean he's legitimate? <laughs> Come on, he's a rock promoter. We all know what Frisco feels about the WSB, and then they, they need to destroy his life. Exactly. So I really can't think of a very good reason why he would want to get back with them. Maybe we should have a chat with our friend. I'll get it. Hello. You know, I just cannot let you out of my sight for a second. There's just no telling what you're going to do. You're like a dog without a leash. I'm glad you're back. I got a favor to ask you. I can't get you out of this one, pal. No, it's not it. Listen, Tony's at a medical convention, and he didn't know we were going to be doing this. But he did. Exactly. I'd like you to be my best man. What do you say? Am I to understand that I am getting the position of second choice here, is that right? Exactly. I'd be honored, but there is a condition. There's always a catch with you. There's always something. You can never just give a straight answer. You gotta let Shona may buy you a, uh, a drink. Probably your last one as a free man. That's it, huh? That's it. Duke's in 30 minutes. See you there. City who, where? Sean, Robert. Dukes, this is sort of my bachelor party. I'm going to go over and have a drink. Is that okay? I'm sure as long as they don't talk you out of getting married. Don't be so nervous about everything. Sean's already married. Robert's getting married soon. Misery loves company. <laughs> Sean said he was going to pick me up mm -hmm. and take me over to the penthouse. What he a grand idea. Yes, and we'll get mm. married or something. <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. Bye. Oh. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Are you leaving? Yeah, just, uh... Good, you're not supposed to see your bride on your wedding day. <laughs> well, give me a break. I didn't know we were getting married to a couple hours ago. Well, that's true. Go on, go on. You're not supposed to be around here. Want to know home. where I'm going to be? I'm going to be at Duke's. I know. I'm going to be having a drink with a couple of the guys. <laughs> Are you nervous? It all happened too fast to be nervous, I think. Oh, it's probably better that way. I feel bad about what we're doing to everybody and then leaving you and Tony with the renovations. Oh, well, Tony's convinced the only reason Frisco wanted to move up the wedding date was to get out of doing the rest of the work. Did he really say that? No! My goodness, you are nervous if you're taking me seriously. Oh, I just feel so sorry about Tony. But then Frisco called Robert and Robert's going to take his place. 
No. You think Conan will be hurt by it? No, no, no. He perfectly understands. As a matter of fact, his exact words on the phone were, tell that brother of mine I'd strangle him if I weren't so happy for him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is for you. And this is from Tony. It belonged to Frisco and Tony's grandmother. It's been in the family for three generations, and he wanted you to have it to pass it on to your children. This is beautiful. Doesn't he want Barbara Jean to have this? Nope. He wanted you to have it. And besides, you need something old, so this qualifies. Yes, I do. This is beautiful. <laughs> tell him I said thank you, would you? He will, but you can tell him yourself when you see him. I will. Will you put this on for me? Sure. Bobby, have you ever been so happy about something that you just felt so nervous because you felt like the happiness wasn't going to last? Yeah. The day I married Tony, I felt that way. But you know what? It does last. And it gets even better. It's gonna get better for you and Frisco because you've waited so long for it. I love Frisco and always have. I know, and he loves you, and he always will. <laughs> Thank you. Here you are, gentlemen. Oh, and Frisco, I know we got off to a little shaky start at first, but um, I really do wish you the best. She is a great gal. She is. Thank you. Appreciate that. No problem. Oh, these are in the house. Also. Thank you. Huh? That's nice and polite. Yeah. Surprised we were wrong about him? No. I agree. Well, you've had yourself an interesting few days, haven't you? To be quite honest with you, I don't even know what the hell's going on right now. You're getting married. Well, I know that part. <laughs> That's clear to me. It's amazing. Someone hears you sing at Dirks. The next day, you're off to record trip and a record contract oh, and around the world tour. I mean, it's a little too good to be true, wouldn't you say? Well, that's what I thought. Listen, I turned the guy down at first, believe me, but he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. As the saying goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just type you're not being used. Look, I know this sounds a little shaky, but I've dealt with these kind of guys before, okay? I'm going into this with my eyes wide open. You know, these promoters sound uh, just like the WSB. <laughs> <laughs> that was my exact reaction at the very beginning. But I weighed it all out, and I think I'm making the right move here. Are you sure you want to do this thing? Absolutely. Listen, I promise you, if somebody made you the same offer, it'd be a little tough for you to turn down to. Hmm. Is uh, everything all right with uh, Felicia on this? Huh? Sean, don't forget, Felicia's a woman. <laughs> She's yeah. been offered to spend her honeymoon traveling around the world, first class, free. Mm hmm? Well, we just want to make sure you're not jumping into anything. I'm not. Believe me. This is exactly the right thing for me to do. In case, I wish you nothing but the best. I second that. Just, uh, take care of my princess for me, huh? I promise. Mm. So when am I going to see you walking down the aisle with Catherine? I? Yeah. 